Castle, derived from the Latin word castellum, meaning fortified place. The first Scottish castles were built within the late 11th to early 12th centuries. After the year 1200, the majority were rebuilt with stone to make them stronger. They were constructed over a period of roughly 900 years, taking various shapes and forms. They were often built on high ground, allowing the occupants to see for miles. Castles may not be exclusive to Scotland, but can they be considered a part of Scotland's national identity? Castles were often utilised for their defensive locations and capabilities. This is made clear by the choice of structure and location. Castles are tall and constructed with heavy materials. The height provided occupants with great advantages. If a battle was looming, the attack could be seen from miles away and give the inhabitants time to prepare and retaliate. If an enemy tried to attack from a great distance, this would prove problematic due to the lack of vulnerable spots. Windows were very few and often really small, allowing the occupant enough of a view to see outside, but not enough for an enemy to see inside. There were also, however, tower houses. These were structures designed to visibly resemble that of a castle, yet they were used merely as housing and were far less structurally sound. What are these things even here for anyway? Well, look how tall they are. It's a great vantage point. Aye, because it's that hard to get a good view from here. I think if someone was attacking from way out, you could see them from miles away. And if these things didn't exist, we might not. I think I could live with that. As defensive structures, castles had to be fortified and long-lasting. Wood was used to construct the original castles in the late 11th century, however, this was soon swapped for stone due to its tendency to catch fire. Stone was stronger, yet expensive and extremely heavy, meaning it would take years to construct. The benefits of stone included the ability to withstand heavy attacks as well as hazardous weather conditions. Many castles have withstood the test of time due to the nature of their construction. This, however, cannot be said for all of them.
At bare minimum, castles act as defensive locations and structures. It is, however, important to look below the surface. What do these structures represent? Is there anything significant beyond their basic use? Looking at them in terms of height and the locations on which they stand, we get implications of power. And looking at the sturdy materials of which they are constructed, this represents strength, endurance and pride. Castles may not be exclusive to Scotland, however, with these ideas in mind, castles can work as a visual representation of Scottish patriotism. You never answered my question before. What? What's the point of these things? Like, I get vantage points and that, but that can't be it. Well, I think they're more than just a pile of stones. Think about how sturdy they are. It implies strength and power. Then think about how old they are, and it shows persistence and immortality. <laughs> ah, you're right. Anyway, we should be getting back.